Guys, welcome to your fifth meeting. Congratulations. Our next college and cultural event coming up, um, we've already had the reception for it. You guys, if you've been anywhere in the uh, Student Learning Center, you've probably seen the display up as well, which is the uh, images beyond, uh, beyond the image of El Salvador uh, display. Um, you get two points in college and cultural for just viewing it, taking a selfie of it, and uh, putting that selfie. Probably should have left that in the door. Uh, two points in college and cultural for attending, looking at it, and submitting a selfie at the end of the semester um, with your points reports. Uh, the exhibit's going to go on until December 21st, so that gives you plenty of time at the end of the semester. And this is Giuseppe Deza's. Uh, uh, portrait of El Salvador. Um, next up will be also a college and cultural event. This is Javier Zamora's uh, Poetry as Resistance. This will be in Felsenman Hall, room 120 from 1 to 2.30 on Wednesday, November 7th. Um, two points in college and cultural. There's a great write-up uh, on the Collins website about this gentleman who uses poetry, uh, his poetry to talk about his life, he has a great, um, I guess he's got like uh, books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think three, three books that have come out there um, to talk about his, uh, his immigration in the United States and his current status as a um, undocumented uh, immigrant as well. And he's gonna be here on campus talking about that. There's gonna be a poetry reading and a lecture as well. Okay, and then tomorrow, there's another college and cultural event, Model United Nations, the club on campus in partnership with the United Nations Association is putting up a talk. The theme is Human Rights at Home. There's gonna be a speaker, her name is Katrina Finch. She's the senior associate for the UNA. She's gonna be here and she's gonna talk about human rights close to Marin County and um, how we can advocate for issues get two points in college and cultural for attending. It's going to be in the William Keith room at the back of the library from 6 to 8. There's a link for tickets. Um, if you guys are interested, can you go register and do that? And um, just take a selfie of yourself at the event or just any handouts that we pass out. You can take those for it. Then over the weekend on Friday and Saturday, the 26th and 27th, there's going to be the uh, the Freedom Media Freedom Summit that's, uh, in, I believe, Student for Social Justice is putting on, um, along with um, the university. Uh, Ten points for college and culture for attending because it is a conference that the university is hosting. And they all also are looking for volunteers as well. Uh, it's two points of community service per hour. Tickets are available, so if you're also looking to attend, um, it does cost money, or if you are a student, you can use the, uh, the uh, ticket code fake news uh, to go on to the website and, yes. Okay, um, from what time to what time is the... It's an all-day event. I believe it's, uh, it's in the morning to about mm -hmm. mid-afternoon, about 3 o'clock, on both Friday and Saturday. The, uh, the, one, the first day's um, registration starts at 8, to nine, and then the workshops start from nine to nine p.m. And then the second day starts at eight, I think, up to six p.m. Yeah. Okay. And there's multiple speakers for it, <coughs> as well as workshops that they're going to be doing for it as well. And it's a uh, you have to if you're also going to be doing the community service, they would request that you also um, follow the link to register for the event as well. Okay, another uh, college and culture event coming up, Modern United Nations again. They're putting up a documentary screening on November 2nd. It's going to be in DD Lounge in the cafeteria from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. The documentary is called Five Broken Cameras. It's about um, the building of the Israeli West Bank barrier that, um, yeah, the, it's, so it's shot through the lens of the Palestinian farmer. It's a 90-minute documentary, I believe. So you can get two points in college and cultural for attending this as well. We have a social event. This is our, our social event for October for everyone in uh, 
AGS is welcome, and anyone else here on uh, College of Meringue, so you can bring people if you would like. We're going to the haunted house up at, uh, I believe it's in Nevada. Nevada, thank you. Um, Friday, October 26th, um, 7 to 9 p.m., we'll probably meet here. If anyone's interested in having a, a go with carpool, we'll probably meet here about 6 p.m. Just let us know if you are interested in uh, going for, uh, with carpool. It's $5 per person, and uh, like I said, uh, two, point, or two points in college and culture for attending. Um, yeah, and this, this event's open for everyone as well. Our next bake sale is gonna be November 7th from nine to two in the same place in the quad area. You get two points per dozen that you bring in your service, and you can bake up to three dozen in a semester, so you can get six points right there in age of service, or you get two points per hour in age of service again for working the table. So if any of you are like looking for some AGS points because you think you're running a little low, this would be a great opportunity to work the table or submit some, some homemade baked goods. Um, this will probably be our last bake sale. And a word about this one, uh, the money we're raising for this one is going for um, youth mental health uh, charity, probably NAMI Youth Initiative. Uh, that'll work um, here, that's local here in the area. So anything that we get in donations from this one will go to that charity. Any questions about that? Um, so, for example, if I take a cheesecake, how many points will So if you bring in a cheesecake? Mm -hmm. um, I've never brought in a fire cheesecake. I mean, oh, I guess exactly. If you bring that's in one? Thing I, can, I know how to make. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, Bring in one that'll be one dozen. Why not? Oh, okay. Yeah, just cut the slices so they're sellable for one dollar. Okay. That's that's kind of the, the thing because we, some some in the past, like for brownies or something, they've been cutting them really small, just so they can get one dozen out of it. But good people don't buy it because they're not worth a dollar. And everything we sell is for one dollar. Um, our upcoming community service event will be on the twenty seventh. Uh, we're doing Ring Mountain Restoration. And it's going to be uh, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, we're meeting at the end of Taylor Road. We can also carpool if anyone's interested. Just let us know. Taylor Road kind of dead ends, and then there's a walkway up to the end there. And this is two points per hour community service. Um, it's probably going to be a little cold and windy up there, but um, it's also good work. Dress in layers. Bring gloves if you have them, but some will probably be uh, provided by the Park Service. Um, yeah, it'll be a good time. As we do these community services, especially in November, it'll be probably get colder and wetter, so this will be one of the good opportunities to knock this out as we are still looking for community service points. The fall conference is coming up in two weeks. November 3rd is a Saturday. We are still looking for people to carpool, so if you're planning on driving down there and you have room in your car, please, please, please email us. You get points in AGS service for driving down. Or even if you are looking for a ride and you are looking for someone to carpool with, email us as well so that we can match you up and figure that out. Um, yeah. That's about it for that. Yeah. That's all we can say. Yeah. Uh, midterm elections, you can get six points in community involvement for voting in the upcoming elections. Just Take a picture of the like top little part of your ballot where it says just your name. Don't take a picture of the entire ballot or don't take a picture of yourself in the voting booth or anything like that. It's illegal. Don't do that. Um, yeah, so take a picture of that and that'll knock out your community involvement points. And last but not least, I believe this is last, AGS design contest for a new sweatshirt. Um, we're looking to purchase new sweatshirts for next semester and we would like a new design um, if you feel um, inclined to do so uh, submit a design to our email address um, can be whatever you want to design it as we prefer something that's AGS related of course um, and we will pick a winner if you submit a uh, design to us you can automatically get two points in AGS uh, service and the winner will get six points we'll announce the winner at the end of the, uh, the semester here uh, the deadline for entries is Friday, November 16th. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions about like what are the requirements and everything, just feel free to ask. Cool. Oh, yeah, I did put these on here. Um, for
application for lifetime memberships, that is coming up Wednesday, November 14th. Um, this is what the form looks like. These are available outside of our office and in online on Canvas and Facebook. Essentially what you have to do is get the uh, grades for this semester uh, from your uh, instructors, your professors. Um, there's requirements are listed on here. You have to have a certain GPA plus a minimum of 60 credits to be able to apply for lifetime membership in the AGS. Um, you can then drop them off to Dave Patterson there in the library or with us in our AGS office at SS119. Is anybody thinking of, uh, of applying for lifetime membership this semester? Well, I'm not, but okay. What's your question? Um, so is this? Is there like manual fee that is attached to it? So there's no fee. Member? There's no fee then once you become a lifetime to uh, to apply. Uh, but after this, I think there's a seven dollar fee per semester unless you're EOPS. Okay. And last but not least, point sheets deadlines Friday, November thirtieth. Um, these will be due uh, in our office, Alpha Gamma Sigma's office in the Student Service Building 119. Um, your point sheets can be either submitted uh, in our box or in person, and you'll need all requirements, AGS service, community service, community involvement, and college and cultural fulfilled, all the points requirements for each of them. And um, usually most people just put a little packet together, staple it all together, put your name on it, and done. So if you have uh, tickets or selfies or the community service uh, sheets all done, signed, put together, and submitted to us by that date. Is there any questions about this? Yeah, are there any events that happen for AGS after our deadline? Um, generally, no, not this semester. There will be next semester. Possibly we will have what's called a year-end dinner. We have one every year, and it has in the past fallen after our deadline, but it usually does. Okay. Uh, we try to make it everything fall before uh, our, our our points deadline. So what happens if you know theoretically if it falls after the deadline? Um, something like the year in dinner. Um, we already know who's coming, but generally, yeah. Okay. I've never been part of AGS where something has fallen afterwards that's been required. Okay. I just know like. Are there any more AGS service opportunities besides the bake sale and the t-shirt contest? Because we're still really running low with AGS service points. Okay, um, if you're still absolutely running low, you can buy a t-shirt. Um, I, I think we can try to come up with something. Is everybody having issue with AGS service points? Yes. Okay. It's been a common concern for like a lot of members. So yeah. Yeah, we really we don't have that that much um, opportunities for HS service besides bake sale, really, and then the shirts, All right. and then the meetings. But, yeah, yeah. Purples. Yeah, let me let me see. Let me go back to the board and see. Yeah, what they say. If you've missed a meeting, you can go back. Even if you missed the very first one, go back and watch it and submit. You know, I know it was like second week, third week of the semester, you can go back and still submit five points. So if you miss like the first three meetings, you can still submit all, all first three meetings to us. So how many points is in each meeting? One point. Oh. Submitting, it on, submitting it from a YouTube video and submitting five points is a half point. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you guys. Have a good day. <laughs> and don't forget to sign in as well.